This is practice test A for chapter five. I'll be going through all the problems and showing you how to get the answers. All right, number one, a recipe uses three fourths teaspoon of baking soda and three teaspoons of salt. Write the ratio of baking soda to salt. So baking soda to salt, baking soda is first. It's three fourths to three. Or you can write it three fourths dot dot three. So that's the ratio. Now find the value of the ratio. And the value of the ratio is three fourths to three. Three fourths divided by three. Put that over one. Do three fourths multiply the reciprocal. And that gets me three twelfths or one fourth. And so the ratio is there and the value is one fourth. Number two, you have to find the missing values. So I know that I'm going to cross multiply. Um, and I don't know what that is over there. So I do one third times 28. And that gives me 28 thirds. And then I divide it by two thirds, which is 28 over three multiplied by the reciprocal. I know that's one. That's one, so it's 28 over two, and that equals 14. So right here is 14. Then to find the other one, I'm gonna do one third, oops, one third times 84, gets me 84 thirds, and that is, 28. Now I got to divide 28 by 14, and that gets me 2. A person walks a quarter of a mile. Okay, that'll be mile. And they do that in 1 12th of an hour. What's the person's speed in miles per hour? So I gotta get that to one. So, one twelfth times 12 gets me to one. So one fourth times 12 equals 12 fourths or three. Three miles per hour. Are X and Y proportional? And the way I do this is I, uh, I cross multiply. Eight times one is eight. 16 times a half is eight. That's good. Um, 24 times two is 48. 32 times three divided by two. That's 48, so those two are, so they're all, all proportional, so all I have to do is say yes. I'm gonna solve this by doing cross multiplication. Eight times three equals y times two. So that's 24 equals two y. Divide that by two, divide that by two. Leaves me with y equals 12. And that's my answer. This one, um, you just gotta look at the graph. Uh, graph shows the density of a substance. Find the density in grams per milliliter. So if you want grams per milliliter, so per milliliter is one milliliter, which is right here. So this is what I'm looking for. It would be two 
grams per milliliter. Um, if I wanted it per gram, it would be one half milliliter per gram. But it says per milliliter, so we'll go with this one. Okay, write an equation for the proportional relationship shown in the table. You gotta remember that y equals k times x. k is my constant proportion. Um, so, um, let's pick y17 equals k times, oops, k times 0.5. So I got to divide that by 0 0.5, divide that by 0 0.5. 17 divided by 0 0.5 is 35 equals k. So my equation is y equals 34x. And that will work every time for every number in that x and y table. We have to see if y divided by x equals 5 is proportional. So we have y over x equals 5. I'm going to do a little chart here. We'll do x, y. Um, let's do 1 for x. So y over 1 equals 5 times each side by 5. That's going to give me y equals 5. 2, if that's 2, then it's going to be 10. If that's y over 3 equals 5, that's going to be 3x and then 15 for y. Let's see if they're proportional. 2 times 5 is 10, 1 times... 10 is 10, 3 times 10 is 30, 2 times 15 is 30, they are. So yes, that is a proportional statement. All right, this one I think is the most difficult of all the problems on this test. So you have two cars traveling at the same speed in different directions. Well, I'm going to have car A and car B. Start them here. Even though they're going in different directions, I'm going to have them going in the same direction. Like that. Um, and it says car A reaches its destination in 17 minutes. So that would be the time. T equals that. The distance equals, we don't know. So we'll just say X. Distance equals X. Now B reaches its distance destination in 32 minutes, and B travels 12 miles farther. So the D on this part is 12, the D on this part is X, which is similar to what car A did, and it's 32, so T equals 32 minutes. So now I know that speed equals distance divided by time and the speed is the same so to find the speed it's going to be distance divided by time equals distance divided by time for this is a and this is b so a distance is x over time is 17 and b distance is x plus the 12 over 32, which is the time. Okay, so now let's do some cross multiplying. 32 times x is 32x. And then 17 times this x plus 12, that's gonna be 17x plus, and 17 times 12 is 204. Now I wanna get rid of this 17x. So I minus 17x from both sides, and that gets me 15x equals 204. And I'm going to do 204 divided by 15x equals 13.6. So 
So now the distance, let's make this a little smaller here. Give me some more space. So on this one, now we know the distance of A for A, distance equals 13.6 and the time equals 17 minutes. Then for B, we have distance equals, um, it'd be 13.6 plus 12, which is 25.6, and the time equals 32 minutes. Okay, now what we have to do is we have to find miles per minute. So I know that we're going thir uh, okay, let's get rid of that. I'm gonna go over here. Miles and minutes. So for one, it's 13.6 to 17. And for the other one, it's 25.6 to 32. But I want it per minute. So I'll get that down to one. So how do I get from 32 to one? Is I divide 32 by 32. So then I'm gonna do 25.6 divided by 32, and it gets me 0.8. And that is how fast they are traveling. The cars are both going 0.8 miles per minute. All right, this one, you mix two thirds quart of blue paint. So I have blue, two thirds. And then I have, I mix it with red which is three-fourths um, to make four and a quarter quarts of purple paint. Now I know if I add those two together, that total is not going to be four and a fourth. But four and a fourth will go right there. So let's add two-thirds plus three-fourths. Let's make them both 12, and that is 8 twelves plus uh, 9 twelves, which gives me 17 twelves. So for a total of 17 twelves, we're going to get 3 fourths red and 2 thirds blue. Now, it says we want 4 and a quarter. So let's make that change that to be not four and a quarter, but 17 over four. So now I do my cross multiplication, then divide by the other one. So 17 fourths times three fourths, that equals 17 times three, it's 51 over 16, and then I'm going to divide that by 17 twelfths, but i got to do the reciprocal. 51 over 16 times 12 over 17. Well, I know that 17 goes into 51, so that'll become a 1, that becomes a 3. And I know that 4 goes into these two, 12 divided by 4 is a 3, and 16 divided by 4 is a 4. So 3 times 3 is 9. And 4 times 1 is 4. 9 fourths. So that's how much red paint. Now let's get the blue. 9 fourths times 2 thirds equals 18 twelfths. And then 18 twelfths 
divided by three-fourths or times the reciprocal, um, and I can cross-simplify. That becomes a 1, that becomes a 6, that becomes a 1, that becomes a 3. 6 times 1 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, or that equals 2. So, how much blue paint and red paint do you use? Use 2 quarts of blue and 9 fourths quarts of red. And for the 9 fourths, I could say 2 and 1 quarter. Um, but that is what we're looking for. All right, number 11. Two triangles have the same base. So if I have a triangle and a triangle, so they have the same base. Um, this is the same as that. But the height is two times that. Now, are the heights and the area of the two triangles proportionate? So I'm just gonna pick numbers. Um, so for X, I'm gonna make that four, and Y, I'm gonna make that about eight. So on this first triangle, it would be a base of 4 with a height of 8. And in this one, same base, but the height is doubled, so it's 16. So let's find the area for each. Area of this one equals 4 times 8, which is 32, divided by 2, which is 16. This one is 4 times 16 divided by 2, which is area of 32. So it wants to see if, me, if the height, let's see, are the heights and the area of the two triangles proportionate? So the height, 8, and the area, 16. And then the other one, the height, is 16 and the area is 32. Now are those proportional? 16 times 16, that gets me 256. 8 times 32, that gets me 256. They are proportional and yes, the two triangles are proportional, at least the heights and the area. All right, the last one is you're painting four walls. Uh, oops, <laughs> I have my four walls. It's rectangular. It's a 22 by 12. So the area in feet is 22 times 12. So 264 feet squared. And if I have four of those, times that by four, that gets me 1,056 square feet. Now it says one gallon a gallon and one gallon covers 330 square feet. Now if I want to do 1,056 square feet how much paint am I going to use? So 1056 times 1 divided by 3 equals 3. Oh, not divided by 3, divided by 330. 1056 divided by 330 equals 3.2. Now, if it said I was going to buy paint, I can't buy 0.2 of a gallon. So I would buy four gallons. But because it just says how many gallons of paint do you need in order to cover the walls, it's gonna be 3.2 gallons. Okay, 
hopefully that helps and we will talk about these in class and uh, come see me if you have any questions about any of these 12. The test will be very similar, 12 questions, just different numbers.